Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Stillwater Creek. We, well, watch the first episode if you want to know what happened. And finally, Victor Tate. How about Victor Tate? Am I right? Another kid raises as, thanks, Victor. All right. Well, hopefully, I'll get to know you all better as I spend more time here. I will also be your mathematics teacher. Before I finish, I'm cut off by the bell, and all the kids leave quickly for their first classes. They all seem nice enough. Sure, they may be the odd one or two. Well, I judge them very fast. <laughs> it's not fair. I mean, I'd expect to get along with, but the vast majority of them seem like good kids. I already hate them all. <laughs> Such an asshole. As lunch comes around, I decide to go to the cafeteria. Normally, I bring my own lunch with me to work, but I thought it would be worth giving the school dinners a go, as they aren't ultimately cheaper for me. Oh, God. Here's a bunch of dweebs. Get away from me, dweebs. Just as I'm about to head off to the cafeteria, however, a few familiar faces greet me at the classroom door. I don't remember their voices. Oh, Mr. Jackman, good job we caught you. Hannah, right? What can I do for you? If it's not too much bother for you, can we eat our lunches in the classroom? Uh, which one's Victor? He's the one on the left, right? Uh, Mr. Ferguson let us eat here. He's just, uh, it's, it's just a bit quieter, a nicer atmosphere than the cafeteria. Totally. Okay, so Victor, I believe, is on the left in the black, and Jack is on the right in the dumb hair. I don't really have anything against it. These kids seem trustworthy enough. Sure, uh, just don't make a mess everywhere. Uh, I wish they would let me make that decision. I would have let them do it anyway, because I'd be like, if, if you guys are a little more introverted and you want a little privacy, that's okay. Just don't be having no weird, freaky gangbangs in here. I'm going to go to the cafeteria and pick up some lunch. I'll be back in five minutes. Don't touch my shit. Hannah starts giggling madly. <laughs> well, Victor looks like I suggested I was going to eat a dead baby for lunch. Is that what they're serving in the cafeteria? Is that what they eat in Canada? Predictably, Jack doesn't quite catch on to the private joke of the group. Jack is over here just like... <laughs> ah, but you can't. The food there is simply vile. And a nod seemingly in agreement. Well, Hannah, not unless you let me eat you, but I think I might go to a Canadian prison. What's the age of consent in Canada? I have no idea. Well, I'm sure it can't be that bad. Besides, I didn't bring anything, so I don't have much of a choice. Well, good luck. Yeah, you're going to totally need it. I like vegetables. Uh, are you the I like turtles, dude? I decide to ignore Jack's comment as I fake the kids and head on my way to the cafeteria. <laughs> Surely that kid must have been dropped on his head or something. Here I am, waiting in line. Whoa, look at that line. It's so busy. I can't. And now I'm looking at the variety of mushy mesh that's on offer. I can't help but consider that Victor was right. Surely a big fancy private school like this can afford basic meals. Apparently not, as the dead baby option begins to look a lot more appetizing. That is me applauding the author. That the author would put something... Humorously dark like that in there. Well done, Arthur! Well done! <laughs> I look around as I wait, scanning for familiar faces. Who would I know? This is my first day of school. Is my mom going to be here? Oh, Aunt Flo came by. I didn't mean your period, but I guess that too. Oh, God. Who are these dweebs? I see Sean in the distance, hanging around with a younger kid, not wearing the grade 12 uniform. A younger sibling, perhaps? My attention is taken away from me as it is my turn to order the food. Thinking of Jack, I decided to order a vegetable casserole. No! Why would I order a hippie food? I'm from Scotland. I want freaking haggis. I want meat. I am a man. I'm going to take my sword and shove it in a deer and eat the rest of the carcass raw. I don't want vegetables. I don't want rabbit food. Gotta give the credit. Kid credit, though. It's at least disgusting looking. It's the least disgusting thing looking here. Yeah. Well, they're not. That's what he meant. As I pick up my food, I notice a few other girls from my class. Looks like they're carelessly gossiping to each other. Louisa notices me, waving madly. Just as she does that, though, I notice Allison far away at another table eating by herself. How does he remember these kids' names? There's no way in real life... Whoa, she winked at me! That girl winked at me. Of course, there are kids b back in the classroom. Um, I'm gonna head back to class. I could sit with the girls, but isn't that creepy? I could just sit with Allison... I'm going to go back to the class and talk to them. I give a wave to the girls as I head back to the classroom. I think it seems a little weird and creepy on my first day to be like, I'm going to go sit by these scene girls. Hey, how you all doing? 
Plus, these are the kind of... I, I don't know. Actually, these are probably more kiss-ups than I would have put up with, but... I get back to the class to find Victor, Hannah, and Jack where I left them talking away. Well, Victor Victor and Hannah, anyway. He's probably like, I like tur I like turtles. Jack says a word every now and again, but he seems to be on a distant planet most of the time. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What is that delicious-looking mess on your plate? It's your mom, Victor. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up, Poindexter. Oh, no, no, Victor, you don't need to be so mean. Ah, but I did warn him. Yes, but Mr. Jackman didn't have much of a choice. You know better for next time, yes? Quit charging me, child! Hannah, I will push you down the stairs and no one will know. Uh, wait, yeah, I do know better for next time. But for a man who can barely afford to pay his rent, I may be having more slushy meals than I'd like. Oh, damn it, Paul, why'd you tell them that? If I want them to respect me, I can't tell them I can barely afford things. They're going to ridicule me for it. At least that's what I would have done in school to the teacher. Maybe these are actually nice students. Because <laughs> that's what I would have done to the teacher in front of everybody. Um, this both makes both Victor and Hannah laugh. Don't laugh at my poverty, you rich Canadians on your Canadian Albertan oil. I see how it is. No reaction from Jack, but in a few hours, the few hours I've known him, I can safely consider that normal behavior from him. Maybe Jack will laugh in a few hours. He'll get home by himself and just start laughing for no reason. Hey, you got the vegetable! Uh, yeah, it looked like the most appetizing thing they had. Oh, maybe I'm not giving this kid as much credit as he deserves. It's great! Wouldn't you guys agree? I think, uh, my opinion on the matter has already been divulged. Hannah starts giggling again. <laughs> that laugh. Jack, on the other hand, looks personally offended at Rick Victor's comments. So offended that his nose fell off. I, I think Jack's gonna, like, stab Victor to death with a pencil and then go back to being like, I like vegetables. It's rather scary, to be honest. That's the end of lunch. Alright, you uh, kids uh, better get the fuck out of here. I'll see you in class later today, okay? Oh, thanks again for letting us see you here. Ah, uh, no problem. No problem. Yeah, it's much appreciated. Look, I understand what it's like to be a little different and not have to sit in the stinky cafeteria with everyone else. The cat thinks it's a Tuesday. Are you like Ralph? Are you going to be like, my cat's breath smells like cat food? I ignore the last comment. Uh, anytime you want, but you better get to class. Goodbye, children. They all thank me again as they leave. Now, just to get ready for my first period. I'm going to have my period! I'm finally a woman! Oh, I'm teaching this afternoon. <laughs> and then everything was black. I'm having a lot of seizures. And that's basic um, differentiation by first principle. The bell goes signaling the end of the day and the end of the attention span of the students. When I was in school, I already quit paying attention well before. I remember so many days... Um, what was it, biology? I would just sit there and I would stare at the clock for like an hour. It was the last class of the day. Thinking about, I'm going to go home and play Sid Meier's Pirates when I get out of here. <laughs> and that's what I would do every day. I don't remember much about biology, but I do remember lots about sacking Havana and things like that. No homework tonight, but I'll be giving out some questions tomorrow. No one seems to notice or care about what I'm saying. Are you really surprised, Teacher Paul? I'm surprised they're not like, oh, I want a test! As the mad rush to be the first out of the school ensues. Well, I almost know when. Hey, yes, sir. Oh, hi, Louisa. I was just wondering why you didn't have lunch with the girls and I today. Oh, Louisa. We were truly heartbroken. Oh, God. I don't even know you. I met you once in your fucking clingy. It is a repugnant smell of sarcasm there, she says this. Uh... Oh, I'm only kidding. Oh, I'm touching my vagina right now. What? Just kidding. But seriously, if you want to get to know us better, feel free to sit next to us one day. Okay. God, you're needy, kid. Um, shit, Paul. Uh, think. What do you have to say to that? Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Thanks for the uh, information. You don't even know me, kid. I feel bad uh, for my little white lies, Louisa Ways, or. Uh, her special enthusiastic arms at me on her way out. Uh, oh well, there's no point in me hanging around here anymore. I might as well head back to my shitty apartment. My new flat is about an hour long commute away from school, so it's dark by the time I get back. And I may be tired, but it's good tired. 
You know, I thoroughly enjoyed my first day, at least a lot more than I initially expected. Sure, there may have been some hiccups, but I've met some great people today, especially that really weird Louisa, needy Canadian. But I think the quiet night is in order after such an exhausting day. What did I do? I, I was at work and I talked to kids, and I went and got some vegetable mush. Oh, my life is so hard! Oh, oh. oh man, all this talking in this LP is wearing me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having another seizure. Oh, I hit my head on the floor. Perhaps a quiet night in wasn't the best decision, as I have a lot of food on my flat. I don't have a lot of food in my flat, meaning I have to go to the cafeteria again today. You know, they have this thing, uh, Scottish Paul, me, um, in Canada, because I've been to Canada before multiple times, and it's called a supermarket or a grocery store. They sell food there, so you don't always have to go to a school to eat. I really need to remember to go to the shops on my way home tonight. Well, no point in worrying about that till after school. Better head off to my classroom. Surprisingly, I'm not the first in class when I get there. Morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Hannah. How have you been? Good, thanks, but tired, you know? Still getting used to working full school days since the term recently started back. We make general small talk about beavers and moose and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and wanting to mount police as the rest of the class filters in. Registration goes by pretty uneventfully. I'm assuming registration is just roll call. Maybe that's the English way to say it. I, I, I wish my friend Lauren was up right now. I'd be like, I need to know this now. I need factual, accurate information for no pay. I feel like you didn't pronounce half the syllables in that sentence. Sure. Uh, although, as the 12 graders head out, a sea of unfamiliar 7th graders start filling up the class. What are you damn middle schoolers doing in here? Get your dirty cunts out of here. Yeah, I should be so lucky to only get one grade 12 class and four or five periods off every day. Well, my other two classes only take up an extra three periods a week each, so there's nothing to complain about, really. But my train of thought is interrupted as a familiar face comes in the door. Hey, you're Sean's little brother, right? The kid seems startled that I'd even bother speaking to him. Mm, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I saw you and a uh, grade 12 kid, Sean Campbell, hanging around together at lunch yesterday and was wondering if you were related. Alright, I have to pause the LP. I'm calling a timeout right now. In real life as a teacher, I wouldn't be like, Oh, you hang out with Sean Campbell, another kid! Oh, that's so exciting! Are you guys friends? That is not the kind of teacher or student that I ever would have been. <laughs> no, we're not related. Does he touch you in your pee hole? Because you should tell somebody if he does. Don't tell me, because I don't want to have to be bothered with it. But you should tell someone. He seems to get really nervous when I mention Sean. Uh, you know Sean, right? And why is Sean not pronounced seen? That would make more sense. Mm, yes. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask how you know each other? I'm a very bored person with a lot of time. It's just unusual to see grade 12 and 7 kids hanging around together when they're not related. I'm... Perhaps there's some story involved and I've gone too far. I don't want to talk about him. And with that, he runs off to his seat. Could be anything, but there's definitely something fishy going on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> really? Really? This is all the more I have to do. I travel thousands of miles from Glasgow to, let's say it's Edmonton, Alberta, right? or British Columbia, you know, maybe it's Vancouver, somewhere in Western Canada, and the biggest thing I have on my mind is, oh, those kids have different ages and they're hanging out. I must know about this. Well, it may not be worth directly investigating, but it's definitely something for me to remember. My character needs to buy a PS3 or something. Or PS4. He can't afford that. He's gonna have to buy, I don't know, maybe get a used Nintendo. The kid whose name turned out to be Tim has been on my mind all day. Oh, God. I don't want to be that kind of a teacher. Was Tim the little kid we just talked to? I I know it was my LP, and I was reading, but I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention to myself. It's just such a strange thing. When I get to the front of the queue, I decide to go for the vegetable casserole again. Yeah, there are a few new things here today, but I think it's best to stick with what I know. Man, I don't care if it's more expensive. I need to start bringing my own lunch to work. Once I get my food, I start making my way back to class until I see a familiar pair in the distance. I stand there looking at them for a while as my mind begins to wander. 
God knows what everyone around me is thinking. Of course, if I stop and I'm just staring at two boys... Uh, yeah, 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 teacher me. People are going to wonder what's going on. Uh, eventually my curiosity gets the better of me. If there is something up, I ought to know. Teaching them both and being a homeroom teacher for one of them... I take the longer route through the cafeteria to the door, which I go through to get back to class in the hopes of overhearing some of the conversation. Wow. Our teacher? M me? Teacher Paul me? Creepy. Creepy. No, I'm not doing it today. Listen, kid, I don't have time to deal with this shit. Give me the money now. Always oh, a bully. But I gave you money yesterday, and I was starving all afternoon. Sean grabs Tim by his shirt. How am I the only one to have noticed this? I have no idea. Is this the face of a man who gives a fuck? Now you can give me the money or I'll give you a black eye. Looks like this is getting pretty serious. Well, then how would I quit being a pussy and take my Scottish ass out there and start kicking some Sean ass? I could intervene and stop this incident, but then Sean will know that I'm on his case. And I doubt Tim would appreciate it as much as he ought to, considering he lives in fear of being beaten up by Sean. I'm gonna fucking... Uh, oh god, what do I do? I don't want to emasculate Tim. I don't want to emasculate Tim by doing it in front of him. You know what, fuck it. I'm gonna go up to Sean now. This is ridiculous. Of course I'm gonna do something. I'm not gonna sit here and let him beat up on Tim. Yo, Sean, you little fucking douche nugget. Oh, shit. Get away from him now, or I'm going to rip your gonads off, feed them to your face, and tell your mom you ain't got no nuts. That's right, you be gone. Both kids run for their lives after my shouting. Oh, I didn't mean to make Tim run. Whatever, I'll rip his nuts off too. I'm going to have to speak to Sean about this later. The whole cafeteria is staring at me as I head back to the classroom, but I don't care. These Canadian pussies are going to learn the Scottish hardcore way. I'm pretty damn sure. Of course I did the right thing. And I'm pretty sure. Fuck yeah. I ain't gonna put up with that bullying shit. Hey, what's up, me amigos? When I get back to the classroom, the usual suspects are there, minding their own damn business. Ah, uh, cafeteria food again, Mr. Jackman. Look, Victor, I already threatened to rip off the nuts of one kid. Don't make me threaten to do it to you, too. Look, I forgot to go by the shops on my way home, all right? Don't worry about it. I won't be forgetting today. I'll probably mostly get Kinder Eggs and ketchup. That's what y'all eat here, right? We're in Canada. Do you know any shepherds so I can get some shepherd's pie? <laughs> Last time I had shepherd's pie was actually in Canada. Um, I, I should hope so. I let them get back to their conversation, but as they continue chatting away, I can't stop thinking of Sean. Better not be in that way. How could he possi possibly justify bullying on such a scale? Wait, does that mean you can bully on less of a scale? You can bully one day a week? It's okay to steal money one day of the week, but every day of the week? That scale's ridiculous. I really need to do something about this. I mean, he's in my homeroom class, which means... Makes his actions partly my responsibility. Just how to go about it. I think I should bend him over a table and shove his book up his asshole. Then when he's in the hospital for months, he'll get to think about what he did. Perhaps getting more information would help me. Sorry, guys. Would you mind if I ask you a question? Of course, sir. What would you like to know? You know, Sean? Well, well, I can't exactly tell them what's up, can I? I haven't really spoken to him yet. What, well, what's he like? Well, he's not the most popular as far as I know. Um, to be honest, you're better off asking Carla. They used to date, but recently split up. Oh, God, I don't care about your fucking high school drama, okay? He's got a tie, right? So can't I just strangle him with it? Um, I see. I haven't had any experience talking to Carla whatsoever. I don't even know who the fuck Carla is. Either way, I suppose I should think about speaking to her at some point. Why? Why do you ask, Mr. Jackman? Is there something wrong? It's a bit of a difficult matter, to be honest, which I'm not sure I fully understand myself. How hard is it to understand that one guy's being an asshole and stealing from the other? That's like as old as humanity. It predates humanity. Animals do that. I understand, sir. Don't worry about it. I'm glad they didn't question me too far. I would have broken under the grilling of seniors. The four of us make casual small talk for the rest of the break. I had another seizure? Is that why I went black? Sean isn't in class today. He probably heard about how I was going to shove a book up his ass. He's How does he bully a middle schooler? What a fucking loser. I wonder why, but if I'm honest, I'm mostly glad it gives me an opportunity to speak to Carla. 
for what it's worth, you know, some bullies just deserve that. I remember some of the people who were bullies in my school, a lot of them ended up in prison. So it wasn't like some high school thing where it's like, just get to know them. No, some of them ended up in prison for terrible, terrible things. Speaking of which, that's the end of the, her period. Oh, the period. Ah. So I better call her over to see uh, before she has off to the next class. That is going to be weird. Would that not be weird if your teacher's like, I want to talk to you about some guy I used to date. And you'd be like, how do you know I dated him? Yo, Carla. Is there a problem, sir? No, I just wanted a quick word was all. She silently walks over to my desk as the rest of the class leaves. Hannah gives me a subtle look as if to say good luck. Thanks, Hannah. I can't help but think I'll need it. There seems to be a problem with Sean. What kind of problem? Well, I didn't expect her to be so direct. It may be worth telling her about Sean if she knows more about it, but it is confidential information. Now, what the fuck do I tell her? It's not my life. It's not my fault if Tim gets embarrassed. Well, it is if I tell. He's been bullying some of the middle schoolers. Ah, he's been doing that again? I stopped talking. Shocked! Has this had been a thing before? This has happened? Yeah, it's not anything new. I'm assuming you know Sean and I dated until recently. Otherwise, you wouldn't be asking me about this. The girl's incredibly direct. I hope this doesn't make her a problem in the future. I don't. I hope I don't have to eliminate her. But for now, she seems willing to help. That's right. Go on. Well, the reason I dumped him was because he got in with a bunch of 12th graders near the end of 11th grade, and they bullied kids. Personally, I found it disgusting. So as soon as I found out, I left his dumb ass. You go, girl. Do you know what kind of bullying? From what I saw, it was mostly stereotypical stuff, you know? Taking their lunch money and beating them up. God knows what they spent that money on, though. I didn't stay with them long enough to find out. Although I find it strange he's keeping it up, I always thought he only did to impress the older kids. But I really don't know. Seems to be a lot more to this than initially meets the eye. Teacher CSI. I see you wouldn't happen to know if this bullying is any way linked to his truancy? Now, that's so long after we split up. That's all I know. Can I leave now? Well, that's true into a lot. I don't doubt for a second that she's telling the truth. If there's one admirable quality about people's directors, Carla, it is that they're always honest. I'm glad I can make a snap judgment. I've met someone once. I don't need them to establish a precedence of honesty with behavior. I just have automatically thrown all my trust into you. Maybe that's why I get into terrible relationships, other Paul, with Jennifer, with people cheat on you. That's fine, Carla. You've been very helpful. Thank y'all. And with that, she leaves. That's decided. The next time I see Sean, I'm going to have to bring it. Can I bring it up beside his... Bring this up. Can I bring it up beside his head with a book? Sean, I heard you've been... Wham! I mean, if it's okay for him to bully, then it's okay for me to bully him. I'm bigger than him. I need to, you know, kind of buy some new stuff for my shitty apartment. I think this is where we're going to end this episode. Next episode, you know, we'll start with the next morning. We'll try to figure out what's happening with Sean and Tim. Because Scottish teacher Paul in Canada has nothing better to do. Apparently, um, he doesn't have cable or anything to watch. <laughs> he doesn't have internet there. I don't fucking know. Oh, well. Either way, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see y'all next time.